Hi, John from The Spirited Gourmet here. Wanted to talk about some of the other wines that we're going to be featuring for the coming week. So our first lineup was a bunch of wines that we were calling cheap and cheerful. This lineup we're calling bold and beautiful. Uh, everything here is really like bold and expressive and really, really vibrant. Uh, it doesn't mean that there are heavy wines, it just means that there is a lot of personality, very lots of flash, they're really, really dynamite, delicious wines. Nothing shy about anything here. Uh, first from Cascina San Michele, this is the Eteronimo. This is Cortese, the grape used to make gave. They do this with some uh, skin contact, some skin maceration, so you get a much more pronounced textural component in this wine. Think um, white flowers and tropical fruits and a little hint of salinity, uh, wonderful richness to it. Uh, next we have from uh, the Southern Rhone, from the Ventoux, from Domaine de Fondreche. This is their Ventoux Blanc. Uh, this is a blend of native varietals, things like Grenache Blanc and Claret, Roll. Um, wonderful minerality here. Nice notes of like white flowers and citrus, but one of the things that really, really stands out in this wine is this pronounced mineral streak that has like a saline edge to it. Absolutely gorgeous, absolutely electrifying, really, really terrific. Uh, next, we have from Lozier, this is their Tavel. So Tavel, also in the, in the Rhone, this is a, an appellation that is only rosé. Uh, and these are not these like light uh, frou-frou rosés from other places. This is a rosé of substance. That's how Tavel is. They can be big and bold and rich. Grenache-based, nice dark fruits. Think like macerated strawberries and a little bit of like black raspberry in there as well, but rich and has real weight to it. Next, from Clos de Luz, this is the Massal 1945 Carmenere. Uh, old vine Carmenere, some of the oldest vines uh, alive in uh, Chile. This is from the Rappel Valley. Uh, wonderful dark fruits here. Think like uh, black plum and tobacco and a little bit of tomato leaf. It really is rich and full and opulent on the palate. Has a little hint of spiciness to it as well. And last we have from Ben Glatzer, this is the Wallace. This is a blend of Shiraz and Grenache from the Barossa in Australia. Think like uh, dark, savory, spicy fruit notes coming from the Shiraz with that little earthiness and that peppery spice with a little softening from the Grenache. It gives it like this nice kind of fresh strawberry element and a little brightness to the wine. Um, wonderful, bold, full red. Uh, great with like a steak or a burger, uh, but really uh, very approachable. Not too heavy that you can't have it just by itself. Hope you get to try them. Hope we get to see you soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.